Hey guys, Redstone here, and today I'm going to have a comparison between the Prucha MK2S and the Ana A8. Are you guys ready? You know I am. Let's do this comparison. So there's many so there's many differences between these printers and they're both completely different but they are both Prusa i3 styles. Now the one on the right as you can see is a Prusa MK2. This is the original. Um and this is the Ana A8 which is a clone of this machine. Uh just looks a lot different. Now, what are the technical specs of these printers? The Ana A8 has a 2 220 by 220 by 240 where the Prusa MK2S has a 250 by 210 by 200 bill volume. The Prusa MK2S has a metal frame. The Ana A8 has acrylic. Um, the um, Prusa MK2S has more durability, where this one's a little bit more fragile. The Ana A8 is a little bit more fragile. Now, uh, you might be wondering what they're both printing. They're both printing a Charmander, exactly the same settings. The only difference is that they're using different filaments, uh, but that won't make a huge difference. Uh, I'm just interested to see which one's going to be the better out of the print quality department. Now, it's sort of obvious which one's going to win, but hey, you never know. So, after this video, I'm going to show you a clip of uh, both prints, and you can determine yourself if which one is better. So, overall, what do I think about these printers? Overall, I think the Ana A8 is a great value, uh, especially... For um, $160, you can't really beat the price. Um, now the Prusa MK2 is a little bit more expensive, but and um, but yeah, um, it's actually a lot more expensive. Starting at $699, going up to $899. But um, as you guys can see, um, I did not print out a spool holder for the A8 yet. I just have it rolling on the side. Uh, the spool holder is supposed to come pretty soon. Uh, the Prusa MK2S, I'll talk about it in my review of it. But I hate the spool holder, guys. It's not that good. Um, it's pretty nice that it has, like, different sizes for different spools. But I wish they just put an arm on top of it instead of that. So, um, let's talk about uh, the features on each printer. So, uh, the Ana A8 doesn't really have any features that stand out. Uh, one feature that does sort of stand out is LCD mm -hmm. screen. But besides that, there's really nothing that stands out about this printer. It's just a basic printer. Now, the Prusa MK2S... On the other hand, it has its own proprietary interface. It's not really proprietary, but uh, Prusa has made some changes to it to make it a little bit more fluid and more controllable. Um, as you can see, it also has auto level. It also has a lot of smart features. It has an enclosed power supply. Which I'll talk about the Ana A8 a little bit later. But um, but overall, uh, the Prusa MK2S has a lot more features. Um, it does um, an auto bad calibration before each print. And the Ana A8 does not. So uh, you have to adjust the Ana A8. And it gets a little bit annoying sometimes. But yeah. Um, that's just uh, what you have to deal with. With both uh, with the Ana A8. Now you might be wondering what they're printing. Uh, they're printing a Charmander. And um, guys exactly the same settings. Like I said in the beginning of the video. Uh, the only differences are. They're two different machines. And two different filaments. That's the only difference. Uh, so we're also going to talk about the... Um, print quality both of the printers again i've not tested these two on the same print but overall i think the prusa mk2s will be better but hey you never know um it's just because it's more rugged um it also is a little bit smaller so that makes it more a little bit more rugged as well so let's see what happens um thank you guys for watching if you want to see the um see the print quality in the end of the video and if you have any questions please comment below and i will reply in under 10 minutes thank you guys very much and um, please tune in to the end of the video to see the prints. So guys, here's the prints. Um, now I have two of each. Let's me spin them around. So this is off of the Anit A8. Remember guys, this is with no upgrades besides the fan tread.
pretty good print. It looks a lot better in person, trust me. Here's the 3D Benchy. Pretty smooth. Pretty nice. But here's the Prusa's Benchy. A lot nicer. Well, at least in my eyes. We have to remember this is like uh, four times the price. So they're pretty close if you think about it. But here's a Charmander. It looks really good. But if you compare the two, there's not much of a difference. Um, I don't know if you can see this. Let me focus. But there's not much of a difference between the both of the Charmanders. So, what does this conclude, you might ask? Well, this concludes that the Aina A8 is very close in print quality to the Prusa MK2, which is very impressive in my opinion. Uh, if you guys have any more questions you want to ask me, please leave them below and I will answer them quickly. Thank you very much and thank you for watching the video. I'll see you in the next one.